Hey, I'm Erica Bell, and this is my parents' dog, Gypsy. I guess she'll be joining us today. Today, I'm gonna give you pretty much the only tip you need for tidying. Okay, not the only, but it's a it's a big one. It's a big one. So this is what I like to call the two times tidy tip. <laughs> basically just because I like alliteration but really all it is is that you should be tidying your home two times a day and I know you may be thinking that sounds like a lot this woman is nuts what are you talking about I'm gonna tidy my house twice a day I can barely keep up with things I don't know I don't know what the you know, the uh, story is you're telling yourself in the in your head or the curse words you're saying at me right now, but just hear me out, hear me out. So when I say tidy, don't confuse it with clean, okay? Don't confuse it with deep cleaning your house, organizing your house. This is just kind of tidying up. You've Maybe it's already been clean. Cleaning is, a, is, is another thing. So is organizing. For tidying, we're gonna maybe assume that Maybe you've done some organizing already and this is just kind of upkeep, okay? This is maintenance mode, right? Okay? So ideally twice a day during the work week, like during a weekday, I would suggest tidying up before you leave your house to go to work. And again, maybe you're saying curse words to me right now of like, what are you talking about? Sorry, I just washed these pants and trying to get comfortable. <laughs> so if it's a weekday, um, we're talking tidying up before you go to work. Again, don't curse at me, don't come after me. And again, I'm just saying this is this is gonna take you five minutes. Give yourself five minutes to do this, okay? So maybe that means you are putting your dishes away from breakfast or putting your coffee cup away. You've made your bed. Your house just kind of looks neat and orderly. So one reason we do it before we go to work is that so when we come home for the day, when we re-enter our homes, maybe you've had a stressful day. I hope not. But maybe work was crazy. I hope not. Regardless, like you want your home to be your zen space, your oasis, right? A place where you can walk in and just breathe, exhale, and just kind of be comfortable, okay? So when we tidy up in the morning before work, we can come home to that kind of oasis, that kind of tidy. And then the second time it, that you're going to tidy up your home is before you go to bed, okay? Again, maybe we're putting the dishes away or we're putting them into the dishwasher, we're wiping down counters, anything like that. We're, we're putting toys away or we're putting books away. Just, we're just picking up, okay? T five minutes, five minutes. And for the reason, because then when you wake up, you're waking up to a tidy home. It is setting your day off on the right foot. It's setting the tone for your day in a peaceful way, right? Okay. So that's what I would suggest during the weekday. On the weekends, people's schedules are a little bit different. So I would suggest your tidying schedule probably needs to be a little bit different too. So I would say on the weekends, maybe your first time of tidying is around lunchtime, after lunchtime, okay? If, your kid, if you have kids and they take naps, a tidying when they go down for naps, or right before they go down for naps, they can help you with this process, right? And then, then things are nice for the rest of your day. Maybe you have a little kind of chill moment in the middle of your day. Maybe you take a nap, hopefully. Oh, I love a nap. That is like luxury for me, right? Um, so, and then you just have a nice, a nice home for the rest of your day. And then once again, you'll do it at nighttime. So after dinner, before you go to bed, that sort of thing. So once again, you will wake up the next day and your home will just be, it's just a nice tone to start your day, okay? So again, start small. It does not need to be more than a couple minutes. I'm, I'm gonna just say five minutes. Give this 
Try this for a week or even a weekend. Start small with this and see what you think. It may sound like a lot if you're not used to something like this, but the tidier you keep your home, the less you'll have to like go through and do this like huge cleanup of a huge mess, right? So you're wanting to kind of just keep up with, with your things a little bit at a time versus getting everything destroyed and then having like a mound, a pile of stuff to clean up, right? Um, the other thing is like, make it fun, turn on music or turn on a movie and do this. You know I mean? Anything that, or a podcast or listen to a book, anything that's going to make it less daunting. If this seems like a daunting, huge task for you right now. And then again, kind of like I already touched on enlist the help of your family, your kids, your spouse, your, or your roommates. You know, if you have, if you don't live alone, unless that help, right? If you do live alone, hopefully this will be a little bit easier because you're not kind of dealing with other people's messes or clutter, you know, it's just you. And hopefully that makes it a little bit easier, but yeah, start with this, the two time a day tidy tip. <laughs> and let me know what you think. Stay tuned each week for more videos. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all soon. Did you like that?